takes away our resources that are out there to take care of the roadways because they have to answer those calls. Colorado Springs City crews say they will be focusing on side streets today, but you can see the sun is already doing a lot of that work for them. Another good reminder, make sure your windshield wiper fluid is up before you leave the house today. Reporting live, Mia Villanueva, KRGO News Channel 13. All right, Mia, thank you. Back to our COVID-19 coverage today. Cheyenne Mountain High School in Colorado Springs is closed. The District 12 superintendent tells us a party forced a large number of students to quarantine. We've learned the party took place on Diana May's property. She is the El Paso County attorney. May confirmed at least 33 students were there and that one student tested positive about a week after the party. For parents who know better, high school students, who know better to do this, to have such a ripple effect among all these other students and parents, it's just so disheartening. May gave us a statement yesterday saying, quote, when a small group of parents approached me to find a way to have a modest outdoor gathering while following the state and local COVID guidelines, I figured I was in a good position to help. This group of kids socialized together in some formation in sports, social events, and family events, end quote. Students at Cheyenne Mountain High School will be on remote learning through Friday, November 6th, and then back on campus starting the 9th. We are also learning more information about a COVID-19 outbreak in the El Paso County Sheriff's Office. Over the last three weeks, eight people have tested positive, two who work at the courthouse. The Sheriff's Office says all of them have either recovered or are doing well and on their way to a full recovery. Since the start of the pandemic, 19 Sheriff's Office employees have tested positive for COVID-19. Teller County is dealing with a new outbreak of the virus, and it may be connected to that recent conference hosted by Andrew Womack Ministries. The Teller County Health Department is investigating COVID-19 cases. Now, an outbreak is defined as two or more confirmed cases at a given location within 14 days. Teller County Health has not said how many suspected cases they are tracking, but they are asking people to get tested if they experience any symptoms and to stay away from others. And later today, there will be a hearing. Teller County seeking a restraining order to prevent further gatherings at Karis Bible College in Woodland Park. Stay with us for more updates as they come in. El Paso County health officials are playing a waiting game. They submitted an updated mitigation plan to the state to address a steep climb in COVID-19 cases here in El Paso County. Now, the county's plan has more recommendations for businesses like providing flu shots, maximizing remote work and adopting sick pay policies. If the state decides this is not enough to reverse the current upward trend in cases, then El Paso County will go from safer at home level one to level three. And that means indoor events will be capped at 25 people, restaurants reduced to 25% capacity or 50 people. Today, a COVID-19 testing site in Fountain is open. It's through a partnership between the city and El Paso County. The new testing site is at Fountain Fire Station.